So I recently covered this on an episode of Extra Cast uh, Porno, which don't be alarmed, it's not porn. So independent horror film on Shutter. Wish this had used the Shutter cover because uh, this one, while okay, isn't as good as the one that they used on the actual Shutter app. But five ten employees at a local movie theater. Yeah, this is owned by a Christian guy. Nothing wrong with that. Just saying, it's a Christian guy. Uh, the projector guy is a straight edge Christian. Very CM Punk vibes there, even though we know CM Punk necessarily isn't a Christian. But basically, they tell him that uh, when he leaves, you know, they can watch any movie they want to watch, and they find a secret passageway after like a bum is in there, and they try to run him out, and it leads them to this very creepy reel, some other creepy stuff, and they put the movie on, and it's kind of a porno, but it's kind of like more of the Jess Franco style porno rather than straightforward porno. And the next thing you know. There's like a hot naked woman that's jumped from the screen and causing all kinds of trauma and drama, trauma and drama for these guys. And then it just kind of goes from there and it gets worse. So it does good stuff. It's got cool ideas. Given the concept, though, I kind of expected a little bit more than what we got here with it. Like, it's not bad, but it could have been better. That's my only thing, because there's a lot more they could have done with this that they didn't do. And... Um, I wish they would have done it because the subject was definitely there to do it. Pretty cool characters. The straight edge projectionist was probably my favorite character. Because he's so, so, you know, hardcore about not wanting to break edge. And things happen in this movie that's sexual nature and other things. And there's some interesting stuff going on with the characters. The characters get fleshed out better than I'm probably going to tell you here. And there's a lot of inner things going on that make it interesting. Just a little bit more in the horror area. Would have made it that much more interesting. Uh, this right here doesn't have a single extra on it, unfortunately. But you do get the movie. One of them wacky burn-on-demand titles. And it is from, you know, Cranked Up Entertainment. But also in association with Shudder, as you can see there. Uh, sadly, no reverse cover with the cooler cover art on it. But what are you going to do? It's a movie that stands out for all the right ways it takes you on a little journey there that it's not a bad journey but it's a journey that when you got a title called porno maybe you expect a little bit more than what you get not porno not saying that not saying you need more nudity none of that stuff just saying you needed more of the other stuff and um that's where it falls flat i don't know exactly what i give this on extra cast uh it's probably two and a half to three area if I said three, then I probably lean more, more towards two and a half now. You know how it is sometimes. You, you change your opinion on stuff after a while. But it's still not bad. And it's still worth a watch. And it is different enough to, say, go to Shutter right now. Turn it on and watch it if you own Shutter. If you're subscribed to Shutter. But just don't expect too much. And you'll be alright.